Good morning. It is 8.15 a.m. Saturday morning. We're gonna mow someone's lawn for free today. It's free mow Fridays. Man, I've got some bags. Uh, logistically, I haven't been able to make it happen till now. Last time I went out there, she wasn't there. Today, she should be there. Hopefully everything falls into place. I'm meeting someone out there, which is very exciting for me. I put a story out on Instagram, half looking for a bit of help in the form of a videographer or slash editor. And today I'm meeting someone to see if that's gonna work, which is a weird feeling for me because normally I'm just totally running on my own. I've done everything on my own, which has probably kind of suited me because I am a bit of a control freak. But I have been at the point for probably the last six months where I just need to be outsourcing and getting some help because I just can't keep going forever at this rate. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, oh, thanks. All right, have a good one, man. Nice to meet you. So yeah, it may or may not work out. I don't know, but I've got to give it a try. I am very excited to see how it goes. Now, we have a couple of bins on site, so I'm hoping we won't need that many green bags. I'm also taking this thing, which is the catcher uh, for my stand-on mower. A lot of people are like, oh, why don't you get a catcher for it? I have one. Just with the yards that I do, the, the volume of grass and the thickness of it, normally, um, you know, it's gonna clog up that chute. But, but I'm hoping today it won't be so bad. Anyway, enough talking. Let's go check this place out. Mm. Yeah, right. How are you? Morning, mate. Robert, Rob, Robbie. Rob, yep. Anything. What do you prefer? Doesn't matter. <laughs> what, do you, what do people call you? Rob, Robert, Robbie. Robbie. Thanks, Thanks for coming, man. Hey. Thanks for coming. That's fine. Oh, did you bring cameras? Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. God, this guy. He's a pro. <laughs> so yeah, Robbie's gonna help me out today. Um, we don't know how it's gonna go, do we? We might be a good fit, we might be a bad fit. It's like a first date. Whatever you wanna do, but again, I normally just use my iPhone on, on the tripod. Right. I've got my tripod here, I'm happy to set it up. Yeah. Sit it on a tripod. Okay, so we're gonna check out this place. So I did come here last week. Uh, the lady wasn't here. I have spoken to her over message since then. And I did organize for a couple of bins to turn up here from Manage Waste. Looks like they've given me some fresh ones too. Look at that. Are these brand spank? These look like they're brand spanking new. Yeah, they're just showing off. I think they're 1100 litres each. So it'll be great if we don't have to put any in the green bags and take any. This feels really foreign having someone else here. Let's go and see what she says. Oh. It's a bit of a false start. Hello, hello. Oh, hello. I'm finally here. It's Free Mo Fridays. You normally mow? Have you, you got a mower that works? Or? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. What, what's wrong with it? You don't know? Or? I don't know. It's been in the corner. It hasn't worked for ages. Yeah, it just doesn't start at all? Or? It starts, but it's not very good. Okay. All right, Rob's out there taking some before shots for the before and afters. I did bring some PPE for him because I'm sure he doesn't know how loud and how dusty it's going to get. So this is what we got. This front bit here. Should be interesting. I'm hoping there's not much through it. Something there. Hopefully there's not much junk through this whole thing. It looks very messy, but the skag's going to... Can't speak. It looks very messy, but the skag's going to take care of this pretty easily. Have we got any defined garden beds? I don't think so. It won't look pretty at the end, I can guarantee you. That's pretty standard with these things. Cicadas are going nuts. This section out here. Shouldn't be too bad. Like I said, I am bagging, or trying to bag with that skag today, with the catch pro. I think it'll work okay out here. Might be a little bit harder in that middle section. I'm gonna grab that gimbal for you. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh. Seeing these babies everywhere at the moment. Look how small this one is. I saw a um, tiny, a little bit bigger one than this one a couple of weeks ago, but look how tiny you are. They're beautiful, aren't they? Another blue tongue lizard. Oh, I want to take him home. I hope there's not more in there. <laughs> That's the only thing I think about with that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, look at that tongue. Ooh, super humid as always. Extra humid with the mask on. Pretty much finished this front section now. Looks much better. Rob's doing his thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a very different experience. Not having to put down the line trimmer every two minutes to change the camera. So hopefully we can get it to where we're gelling and I can just sort of wink at him and he knows where to go. Right, some jobs are messier than others. <laughs> this is quite uh, a lot of moisture in this stuff, so getting sprayed with a lot of stuff. Done this third of the yard. There's nothing overly difficult about it, to be honest with you. How are you doing, Rob? Pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Water meters there. <laughs> That was very close. I did forget to check, I will be honest. Um, there was a rock next to it, thank God. That would have been fun running over that. Scared the shit out of me. There's another bluey, a big one, a bigger one there. Another one. Another bluey. It's the third one. This one's a little bit bigger than that first one, isn't it? That first one was tiny, hey? So they do like this area. I do feel a little bit bad for um, rehoming them, but they'll be fine. Oh, well, here we go. Look at that. That's all knocked down. There's a lot more grass there than I thought. I think we're going to fill those two bins pretty quickly. I'm going to go out the back and start there now. Uh, it's pretty scary out there. That'll give this a chance to dry up a bit before I start handling it. Um, but that's, yeah, that's... Pretty much 80 to 90% of the front yard done. And the front nature strip. Have a look at the back. Oh. The ride-on's gonna take care of most of that. Hopefully there's, there's a bit of junk there. I'm praying there's not too much. This is the back. Pretty open, which is good. So this turned into much more of a commitment than I thought it was going to be. I've had, the, I've had to make the decision to do this in two visits. We're going to completely knock over the front. Here's, um, I've tried to put them in a pile, a couple of piles. So I can then rake them up and put them in the bin. I don't think it really shows up how much grass there is here. Out the back is a mile worse. Um, it's taken a while. It's taken a while to make any progress out here. So started out here, started clearing out here. Then I just decided, hey, I'm just gonna knock it over. And again, it doesn't look as bad as it was. Um, come back next week and we'll um, finish off the back. So yeah, it'll just be a two part video, but gonna complete the front today. So that ended up being a lot more work than I thought it was going to be. Turned out all right though. Definitely looks better with the grass collected. So much grass. That saved me a lot of time having these things here. Uh, not only was I able to put the greenway straight in them, uh, but now I don't have to go to the greenway facility. Now these will end up, I don't know if anyone saw the vlog where I went and did uh, the tour of the greenway facility and what happens to the, the green waste from here, how it all gets recycled. Um, this grass, all the stuff from managed waste service goes to Northwest Recycling, so that's where it will end up. I'm gonna see if they can empty these for me, leave them here, 
because I'm coming back next week uh, to do the back. I would have finished the back, started the back. As soon as I started the back though, I knew that um, we should probably make this a two-part video because again, while it's knocked down now, there is a lot of grass there. Still a lot of trimming to do. We got here at nine. It's now two. We did muck around for about an hour just getting everything ready. But yeah, after like three or four hours of doing this sort of work and filming it, you're pretty much done for the day. <laughs> what do you think? Good? I obviously, obviously haven't finished the back. I'm gonna come back next week for that. Um, the bins are out there. I'm gonna get them to empty them and then leave them there so I can finish the back. But the front's all done. All right. So uh, I'll let you know exactly what day I'm coming. I'll send you a message, yeah? All right, have a good one, see you later. All right, that is another Freemo Fridays done. Thank you for watching. If you did like this video, make sure you subscribe.